Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Project Ascension. Today we're doing the Wild Card Iron Man challenge again. This is the second take we got with a dry eye this time. We named him Cobalt Man. We haven't selected our abilities yet, so why don't we do that real quick? We'll re-roll this a few times. See, we'll make, make sure we get a good uh, good selection. Alright, what do we got? A couple... Ooh, a purple. Let's check that out. Mana Forged Barrier. I believe that does... Um, damage to the mana before it does the health. All right, something like that. Powered fortitude and aspect of the monkey. I might go with this barrier. Let's see. Envelops you in a mana fueled barrier, protecting you. Blah blah blah. Up to ninety percent of the damage, draining one mana per absorbed. Huh, that might be pretty good if we don't use any mana abilities. Huh? Yeah. Um. No, we're gonna reroll it one time. See what else we got. Got thunderclap or arcane shot. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to want Shield Bash. I want to be able to do some good damage. Should we go with the two-handed Thunderclap? Or should we go with the uh, more Marksman Arcane Shot? Alright, we'll do one more time see what we get. Lightning Bolt, Shield Bash, Mark of the Wild. That might be a good idea. Or maybe the Lightning Bolt? Alright, we're going to randomize it. Let's see, boys. Lightning Bolt. Alright, we'll go with that. Let's see what else we get. Water, that might be a good idea. Who okay, guess? Imp, Emily, and the Hand of Reckoning. Uh, I don't really want to go with the pet, so we're going to go Emily. What else we got? Intellect, that's probably going to be the best option. There we go, awesome. So we'll uh, bring these down real quick. We got Lightning Bolt, Emily, it's a little bit, you know, Shock and Fire, some Intellect, and Water, so we can do all that. Let's see if we can train out oh, at level 1. We can't train yet. We'll uh, do that. We'll make some water. Yeah, we have 95 mana. We're probably going to end up going to intellect then. Let's uh, go into our character advancement. And we'll select intellect. There we go. Oh, yeah, that almost doubled our intellect. Let's see. We got... Not this guy. Not this guy. This guy right here. Stony Tark. We're doing the Iron Man mode. Start the Iron Man challenge. We haven't had any new ones yet. Draft mode. We're already in draft mode, so I don't think we have to. Yeah. All right, we can pretty much get started. Um, so yeah, like I said, we're doing the Iron Man challenge once again. We're going with the Drain Eye this time, uh, as well as the random abilities with the wild card mode, and hopefully we can get through it this time without any issues. Last time I know we got ganged up a little bit and we uh, ended up losing, but this time is it going to be the same? Let's throw staff on as well. Get increased spell haste. But yeah, so if you're new, uh, thank you for stopping by. This is basically a one life challenge. I'm not allowed to group up with anybody. I'm not allowed to get any mail, so I can't, you know, send money or bags or mounts or anything over like that. Uh, this is Project Ascension, which is a World of Warcraft private server that's actually free to play. There's a couple other game modes that you can donate to get into, which is definitely, I would definitely say check them out because they are pretty fun. And the, uh, the donating points aren't too expensive at all. There's no subscription fee, there's no base fee, nothing, just hop in and play. And then if you're interested in those extra game modes, you can always just hop in um, by donating a little bit and getting some donated points. Um, I don't even think we got a quest. I thought I had to kill these guys. But yeah, basically you get some donated points that turn into tokens that you use to buy the extra. There's like a beta and then there's a Lich King. A couple different things you can do. And on top of that, even without those, just tons and tons of stuff to do. Different game modes, different challenges such as this one. All kinds of different builds and characters you can go from. And you can make your own entirely if you want to. You can do this draft mode, which basically gives you a new ability um, every couple levels. And it's randomized, so you can be either, you know, a tank with, like, fire abilities. You can be... Oh, we did that already. Um, it's going to make us do it again. You can be, you know, some kind of mage with, like, a rogue... Anything you want. You could have one of one ability from every place if you wanted to. Um, I guess we already did that, so let's just swap it. And there we go. There we go. Got that. This is just a level up. We'll grab that too. But yeah, mainly the goal for this challenge is to reach max level, which I believe is 60 or 70 without dying. Um, so that would complete the Iron Man challenge right up here. This is a little take on it. Basically, just letting you know, we got one life. If you die, that's it. And nobody else can attack you while you're doing this, so you don't get ganked or anything like that. Um, now, since there's all kinds of abilities for all the other characters, you also have energy and rage and mana, depending on 
what you need to use, but you'll have all of the access to those. All right, let's see. We'll start this quest. I think we'll... Yep, they're the moths. There we go. It's been a long time since I uh, leveled a drain eye. I think they're pretty unique, but I never really cared for the starting area. All right, we leveled up already. Level three. Actually, yeah, we leveled up two times, so we're level three already. Once we hit to level 10, we'll get a talent point, which we can spec into anything that we want. Probably go with something that's going to benefit us, obviously. And then after that, we get a new ability at level 11 or 12, maybe even 10. I know talent points are basically every level. And then the abilities for this one, I think, is either every two levels, every even level. Look at this little thing. It looks like something from the Shah. All right. Um, oh, inventory's almost full. A couple things we just get rid of, but... Let's get rid of these uh, light shots and these arrows. I don't really need that stuff. And we'll probably get rid of this too because we're not going to be redoing our draft at all. We'll get a couple more of these moths down. Not sure what I'm going to really uh, go for with this character. He's got a couple of casting abilities as of now. So I might stick with that. I might get something entirely different to see what kind of stuff we get. Now, with this game mode, depending on what you pick, will give you a better chance to get other abilities. For example, I have the Lightning Bolt, which is a Shaman ability, and then the Immolate. So, I'm more likely to get an ability from one of these two classes. So, like, if I had a Rogue ability, I'm more likely to get abilities that use energy and that are geared towards Rogues. Which is definitely nice, so you're not getting, like, one of every ability. So, there's a little bit of a uh, convenience factor to it. I'm going to take out this last moth. All right, head back over to this guy. What's this guy? Groantius? Something like that? I don't know. I had a clue. All right, and also spawns us with a couple weapons. I think I'm going to stick with the staff. It gives me 10% haste, so that's definitely nice for a caster. Uh, we'll go with the uh, Iron Man title as well. Cobalt Man the Iron Man. <laughs> there we go. Cobalt should be better than iron, so we'll... Uh, We'll roll with it. And he's a little bit blue, which sometimes cobalt's blue. Alright, this guy should be right over here. And I also have this book. Being that there's all kinds of different classes that have different abilities, it's kind of a pain to go to each trainer to train. So they have this little book here that you can get with a couple donor points. And this basically teaches you every ability in the game, so you don't have to sit there and find every single class trainer, especially how often we level up. All right, we'll put that on. That's nice. Um, I don't think I want those. I don't really need the extra armor or anything like that. Um, and I guess I'll throw that bow on. Actually, that bow sells for a lot. Just so sell that. Um, normally, you can train for your pet. Actually, yeah, I think it's just train. And then I have mounts I can ride. I just have to train for them first, I believe. But unfortunately, you're not able to do any mailing or anything like that. So I'm going to have to build my way up to, I think, like three to four gold, depending on where it is. Um, now, if I do it here, I believe it'll be cheaper because I'll have reputation. But if I go, you know, Stormwind or something like that, it's going to be more expensive because I don't have reputation with them yet. For some reason, my, um, my tooltip's at the top of the screen. I might change that. I'm not sure yet. Grab some of these quests and get this guy leveled up. I'm gonna uh, go do a couple of these quests and then we'll meet back at the tournament. Hopefully that should be level 10. We'll check out our next ability and see what we get. Alright boys, we got all these quests ready to turn in. We're gonna head back over here. We should get a couple levels. Hopefully we make it to 10. Uh, let's go with this. Got leveled up a full level. Nice. Alright. Grab that quest. Um, anything good in here? No, that's all junk. We'll just grab that. The cells for the most. All right, level eight. All right, two more, boys. So I also found two bags, which is nice. I'm going to sell all this stuff. I don't need any of this. I'm going to outscale those potions so quickly. It's not really reason to hold on to them. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get two more levels from just two quests. I might. Let's see. We'll give it a shot. Yeah, I know. Um, I didn't have a pouch. That's definitely nice to have. Last uh, run, I believe, I didn't get too many bags very early on. We also can summon our book, and we can train our abilities, which are free, which is definitely nice. 
because that stuff adds up pretty easily when you level up quickly, but don't get too much loot. Um, we almost have a gold so far. Turn this in. Level 9, alright, so close. Another nice thing about going with the Draenei is having the access to this racial ability, which is a heal. Which is definitely helpful when you have uh, no mana, no abilities, and nothing going on. I'm going to head over here and take out some of these Lashers, which I believe are these big guys. And then we have to get some of these flowers. And then we should ding to level 10, which hopefully is either a new ability or a skill point. Or a talent point, I should say. Let's take out a couple of these guys. Grab these flower things. So it's like baby versions of these things. These are mutated ones. I'm just going to spam the lightning bolt on this guy. Knock him right down. Hopefully get some kind of instant cast ability. That would be great. Maybe like a uh, fire shock. Or maybe even like the frost shock might be a good idea. A shaman tree. Or even Earth Shock wouldn't be too bad. That reduces the attack power, I believe. Like a thunder clap. Get a good amount of XP from these guys. I'm gonna finish up this quest and I'll meet you guys when I'm done. All right, we finished up the quest. We're gonna be over here turning them in and we should ding. Got four bars left, let's see. I get after this one. Yeah, 3K, awesome. Ooh, and also we do get a new ability. All right, let's see. Ooh, get a legendary right there. Let's open that one last. This one's common. Holy, yeah. Smite, it sucks. Stone Claw Totem. Alright, let's what about this one. Sprint. Ooh, so that's definitely nice. Especially until we get a mount. But I believe that cooldown will be at three minutes. This is another damage ability. That's 1.14 second cast. It's 1.1, so about... Oh, actually 1.3. Um, the damage. Yeah, a little bit less damage. But once I upgrade that, it might be better. And if I grab this... Legendary now, we might get less legendaries later. Actually, you know what? I think we can check the spell book and see what kind of abilities are legendary. Um, I think I can just swap through here. We can't do Death Knight yet, but that, that's what I'm really excited for. Cyclone, that's not really... Eh. Travel form, ooh, that's nice. Yeah, I think we'll pass on that uh, sprint for now. And we'll go back and uh, we'll get let's go with the stone color totem. We'll try it out. I don't usually do totems too often, so something new. That's cool. We got a little totem bar here. Um, we'll give that a shot. What do we got here? There's another quest to turn in. And then I think we actually got a talent point. But not yet. Oh, level 11. We'll get one. All right. So we'll head down here and uh, we, I guess, disperse. I don't know if we just have to. Oh, here we go. This quest item. We'll turn that in right here as well. That should bring us to 11. We could do the first talent point. I'm going to look through here while I run over and see what kind of stuff we got. What should, kind of stuff we should go into. Um, oh, that's why we don't have one. Because it automatically put it into talent. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Um, so that's definitely nice to know to turn off. I was going to do this one anyways, but that's not what I was looking for. But yeah, I'll turn that off. I'll level up these spells here and we'll head over there to that quest. All right, we're going to turn this quest in, get a little bit of XP there, and head over here to these Blood Elves. All right, there they are. All right, we have the Blood Elves. We'll take a couple of these guys out. It should bring us uh, another level. We'll get a talent point. Hey, I might go with uh, that critical strike one and also maybe the haste. So we're getting a bunch of bags. Sucks I don't really have much to do with them. Ooh, it's Slasher Root. It says health. That's cool. We attacked this moth by accident, but that's alright. We'll grab that. And I want to go into haste. I think it's in here. That's definitely nice, yeah. That's got haste on it too. All right, we'll take that. We'll uh, continue getting these guys. This quest, we got 10 more, and then we'll head over there and turn that in and head to the healing of the lake quest. All right, we're back. We finished with all the blood elves. They actually are a little bit strong, so I'm glad uh, 
but not all hostile right away because if we got one or two of them at a time extra then we would not be doing so good all right we'll turn this in we'll go with uh this male chess piece and what's this guy want me to slay somebody we'll go slay that guy real quick um uh, put the chess piece on nothing else interesting at the moment we're gonna head up here and take this guy out so yeah there we oh it's a woman oh my goodness all right we'll take her out let's go hopefully it's just this one. Oh, she got fireball yeah look how fast they attack and they're pretty strong too i need that haste she got some good haste She's dead. Not, really not too bad, but yeah, almost half health just from one person. Oh, uh, there's also this plans. I give us a nice XP. Nice. Go ahead over here and we'll disperse this uh, neutralizing agent and then we'll turn all these in and we level up once or twice again. That would be awesome. Hopefully, get our next ability. I think, I'm not sure if it's 12 or gonna be maybe 14. I believe it would probably be 12. Alright, I made it over here. There's this big old crystal I guess I just have to click on. I'm guessing I have to swim all the way over there to it. Oh, wait, I can click it from here. There we go. Doing something. Maybe we gotta click this. Can't do that yet. Maybe I have to get closer to it. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Alright, we got that. Now we gotta turn all these in. We'll uh, get a nice level or two out of that. How much your XP is all this? 45. That's a good amount. How much do we need? Um, yeah, we might actually level up twice because that one's 45. Then we have that one's three. That one's three. No, I don't think we'll level up twice. All oh, pretty close though. So we need, uh, how much more do we need now? About a grand. 900, yeah. We'll probably be around like 75% though. Be pretty close to the next level. Well, should get an ability though, which will be nice. I want to see, hopefully get something different than what I have because this skill set is rather slow. Right, turn these in. Let's see, blue, green, and purple. Let's go with the green first. Blessing of Might, eh. Ooh. That's nice. That's actually the first time I've ever seen that. Or charge. Yeah, we definitely don't want that. We'll go with this brilliant Sora. Is that just something to keep? Oh, it's a one-time use cooldown type thing. Oh, I mean, we'll hold on. Definitely use it. Not as good as I thought it was going to be, though. I thought it was just a constant. That'd be cool. Uh, we might go with that. Yeah, another staff. That'd be a good idea. Oh, look how close we are. Isn't that one more quest to turn in? We should be able to do that. Yeah. Good level up. Oh, we'll level up after this. Nice. Grab that. And I believe, yeah, we got two skill points. Talent points. Alright, let's go with uh, crit and... Or not crit, uh, hit and spell haste. Sell some of this stuff. One of these guys, I think, can pass him. Then we'll sell something out here. Here's one. Welcome, brother sell all this. We don't need that. It's my water. Might as well just sell these pouches because there's not much I can do with them. Yeah, we got a lot of silver just from the one that uh, bow that I was going to use. It's like 23, I think, or something. I think it's going to be like 3 or 4 gold to train. I don't think we'll need a mount, though, because I have some. I just can't use them. 4k, nice. That's almost half my bar. Alright, then we have to head up over here, do this quest, and then I think we head up to the next area. Um... Yeah. Finish up an Azure Mist and then probably Blood Mist. Not really sure. Or if, depending on what we get, we might, uh. Just. Oh, there's like some kind of boss there. Maybe a world boss. Um, I do have this stone in a tree, which is like a hearthstone, that we could just teleport right to Stormwind, which I may go there. And then we could start in the, uh, Westfall or the. What's that place called? Um, Duskwood. Yeah, Westfall, Duskwood, maybe. Westfall is, like, right where I gotta be. Duskwood's a little bit high yet. Oh, I think I've done this quest before. I don't quite remember. 3,000, wow. 
play these spirits, all right. Yeah, all right, let's do it. I'm gonna throw this uh, totem down over here. I don't know how long it lasts. Does it show me anywhere? Or it just says a timer on the cooldown. Oh, this guy's coming. I think this guy behind him is a good guy, yeah, but this guy right here is um, not quite a good guy. So we gotta be careful right here because these guys do a good amount of damage. Alright, we'll take this guy out. We're gonna pop our heal now just to make sure we're good. And drop down this uh, totem again. Yeah, these guys do quite a lot of damage. I, I don't really have the damage to out damage them. It's kind of just I have a little bit more health than them. Actually, I don't have more health. So they have more health than me. Right, this water guy's health me. Yeah, that that uh racial came in handy. Definitely good that we have that. Why don't we come over here? We'll grab a little bit of mana real quick, and uh, we can actually use this too. I forgot about that. A minute cooldown isn't bad at all. Because 15 seconds, that's like a quarter of it. And by the time that's done, you have, what, 15% mana? Alright, let's take this guy out. We're going to hit him with the... Uh, what is this? An immolate first. Give him that uh, dot and plow him with these lightning bolts. Should do extra damage to him. He's an earth. Lightning bolt should do extra. I don't know what else would be potent against earth. Like water and fire go together, but like, what about earth? Maybe fire? I don't know. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll take this guy out. Let's pop our, our totem down again. We'll give this guy a couple bolts of lightning. Get the defibrillator out on him. Maybe like an earthquake? This guy had an earthquake, he'd fall apart. Look at him. Right, you got him? Nice. Alright, we'll turn this into this should level us up too, so that'll give us our health and health and uh, mana back. Uh, nice. Ooh, we got new abilities too. Let's see. Ooh, we got a purple and two commons. Alright. Rogue Strike, Thunderclap, and Frost Nova. I think I'm gonna go with that. It won't be used as much, but that's one of them like oh shit abilities that is probably good to have. Especially being that we're playing one life. We got our arcane intellect leveled up. I think that was just that one quest. All right. So we'll head back over here here, and we'll turn this in. And then we'll head wherever, wherever that takes us. We'll back momentarily. All right. We're strolling up on Azure Watch. Now we'll turn in some of these quests. It should give us the last level too. Uh, oh, what do we got? A couple different things. We'll take that new staff. We'll equip that. And it should give us at least the last part of this level. What do we got here? Battlegrounds. I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, the Missing Fisherman. I did pick up two quests on the way here. And it looks like there's a whole bucket load of quests already here waiting for me to pick up. So we'll pick up a couple of these real quick. Uh, sell all this junk. That, I guess, is a quest item. So is that. I believe also in Iron Man, I don't know if you get XP from, like, professions or something. Grab that. So definitely like to, like, just do something simple just so we can make our own stuff. Maybe, like, tailoring, for example. Um, let's turn in these other quests real quick and maybe that'll give us the last level. I want to get to 15 before we wrap up this episode. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Nice. Speak of the devil. All right. I was looking a little bit through these talent points. I think I'm going to stick with these couple that I've been getting so far. Like this one's maxed out. I might go with the raise um, until we get more streamlined abilities because I don't want to put all the points into lightning bolt if I end up not using it. There's a couple other ones that might be pretty good. Like this one's probably good. That's 3% haste and no pushback when I'm getting hit, which is probably important, especially once we start getting healing spells and we need one that heals the last minute and we get get smacked up a little bit. Uh, we can do this quest. We will turn this one in. We'll grab, oh, uh, let's grab this fish. And we'll make this a new home. 
these are just kind of introductory quests for the Ascension server. Showing you how they actually weren't always like that. They're relatively new. They show you how to, you know, do more basic stuff so it can help newcomers get into the game, which is definitely nice to see because you don't see that too often in, in WoW and a lot of other big games. They're more oriented towards people who've been there forever. I know current WoW has more features to help people get into it, like the starting areas and stuff are now more streamlined than I think. I think they have more, uh, I would call it, like, uh, procedures that you would do and go through that would teach you how to play the game and how to get into it a little bit easier. Um, what's this guy want? Some kind of totem red? Is he going to tell me my, uh, oh, I don't know, language primer. Is it this? It? Oh, this right here. It's gonna tell me my like palm readings or something or what? Look at me. Looks like there's. It's gonna start moving this uh, little totem here. We got this fur bog thing. It's called I think. There we go. All right, that was easy. 500 XP. And then we have to find some totem. All right. Well, I think that'll be a good spot to wrap it up for the day. I'm gonna head into this inn, get a little bit of rest XP. Uh, we could sell these fish too. And, uh, yeah, so we got to level 15 so far. We got a couple of decent abilities, so, I mean, all right. Frost Nova is definitely going to come in handy at one point. Um, we already got a heal, which is definitely good, just from being a drain, which we already had to use once. Conjure Water is definitely going to come in handy, as well as the Intellect is extra damage. And this, uh, Brilliance Aura, I haven't seen this before, unless I just never noticed it. What is it from? Maybe a Mage? Yeah, okay. It must be new because, I, oh yeah, look at all these. This is new. Yeah, that's new. This Mana Forge Barriers. I don't know how new that one is, but I haven't really seen it. Alter Time. Wow. That's definitely pretty cool. I I played this server for a while, and uh, seeing all the new stuff that they put in is definitely awesome. And all the progress and you know hard work they've been doing. I enjoy it a lot more than current WoW, actually. Freezing era, that's new. Currents, I, I don't I think that's been there, but I haven't played that while. I know they're also doing all this drag dragonkin stuff now with the dragons, and then they're uh getting this Death Knight stuff set up. I'm so excited for the Death Knight. Used to be one of my favorites back in the day. All right, boys, we're going to wrap it up there. Uh, we got a couple of abilities, a couple of levels, 15. It's quarter away there, I believe. It's 60 or 70 max level. We'll have to confirm that. Um, but we'll catch you guys in the next episode. If you like, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.